My favorite Those thing about exist. being gay, by the way, is the fact that I can call other people gay and it's okay because I'm gay. So like when we're out, if there's someone that we suspect to be gay that walks past, I might go gay to Keegan. <laughs> Uh, or Keegan, Keegan will look and be like, oh, look at her. And it's like, that's our little way of being like, oh, they're gay. But I can get away with it. If a straight person did that, that would be homophobic. But because I'm gay, I can no, do that. No, it wouldn't. If a, if a straight person looked at a gay person and went, gay, that is homophobic. Yeah, I mean. But I can if, get away if, with it because I'm not being homophobic because I love gay people because I am one. If you were to do it to a random if That's a what straight I'm person about. was to do it about a random or yeah. to go but for a straight person to go oh that person is gay no. is not a home oh yeah <laughs> but the way in which I do it it would be seen as a hate crime probably <laughs> well David actually sent a voice note in David lives in New York uh, but l yeah let's play it guys um, it's David from New York um, this is in regard to your question about how to spot a gay in the wild um for me, um, as someone who grew up in a very rural part of the country, who now lives in New York City, um, I've seen this in like London. I've seen it in LA. I've seen it. I've seen it all over the country. I've seen it everywhere, um, and it's something that you can spot from like you know a hundred feet away. If you see like a man who's walking like three times faster than everyone else on the streets, like weaving in and around people <laughs> got somewhere to go. Like they're being chased by like a lion. Um, that's like my big giveaway on how to spot a gay man in the wild. Like, um, of course you can tell other ways, but, um, as far as like a nonverbal kind of cue, um, that is my like, yeah, I see. So walking mm. fast, biggest non... Gays do walk fast. They do. I, I agree with that because I'm like, yeah, rural gays probably aren't as... I don't know. What is it? But I, I can see it in my head. I'm like, yeah, if you're a rural gay, you're probably not jingling in a nice coffee. You're probably yeah. not... I mean, this is all stereotypes. I could be wrong, but you're probably not up to date with the highest fashions and you're not... So Well, I think there's an element of... In cities, metropolises, if you will. Metropoli. Metropoli. <laughs> um, if you're in a city, you're okay with, generally, I'm, I'm speaking in general terms here, you're, yeah. you're probably okay with people knowing that you're gay. Because um, most because, cities are diverse yeah, and inclusive. And, and, it's and, a, and it's, it feels like a safer environment. Yeah. Not for everybody, not all of the time. No. Um, but by and large, mm -hmm. you know, like people walking around London swishing up and down. Yeah. As opposed to if you're in a rural town in yeah. the, the ass end of nowhere, then you you probably don't want to be identified. Mm -hmm. You don't want people to know you're gay. Yeah. Um, I know I certainly didn't. I grew up in a little mm -hmm. town. I didn't want people to know I was gay. Yeah. And, I, and, and when you're not comfortable with it, and it's probably the same even when you're in a city. But then when yeah. you are, it's like there's ways of identifying yourself. Yeah, I think that's true because having moved, I moved up north to live with Keegan from London. I lived in London for 11 years. In London, during the time I've, I've been out in London, which was only like the last, what, five years or something, I definitely didn't feel any worry in being gay. Now, hate crimes do happen to gay people in London still, mm. but because of the general acceptance of gay people in somewhere like London, a city like London... I definitely didn't care if people thought I was gay and mm. I think my behavior would be different. Whereas still up north now in a slightly more rural community, I notice it in the gym a lot. In the gym in London, I didn't care if I wore pride socks. I didn't care if people thought I was gay. Whereas I notice it still to this day up here in the north of England where I'm like, oh, oh no, what if someone thinks I'm gay? Oh, oh, I'm wearing pride socks. I forgot that I put those on today. And then I have to catch myself and go, stop it like no one mm. cares and if they do then they're the problem not you but it still creeps into my mind whereas in london it didn't really creep in and do you think my, my mannerisms change then when we're in different in different places like i think so i think naturally if you feel safe somewhere your behavior is going you're going to be more authentically you aren't you yeah. than if you don't feel safe and i'm sure lots of gay people can relate to putting on a fake version of yourself to keep yourself safe yeah purely for safety reasons um which is sad that we even have to do that but i think it's also nice where we can then play up the gay side